I am in sunny LA, unfortunately. You do not have the sun in this room. You get our I'm motel. I'm joined <laughs> by the lovely Nikki, and I'm in Nikki and Dan's hotel room. On our bed. On the bed. The that bed. way is the sunshine. Um, so <laughs> I'm sorry that I can't bring you this in the video, but today we are going to do our top 10 holy grail. Oh, I was like 10, I only have five, but five plus five is 10. 10. Good thing, um, US, UK, we've mixed in a few. Some of them you can only buy in the US, your side, some yes. of them you can only buy in the UK, my side, but there are a couple of sneaky, um, sneaky ones in there. We have just filmed a What's in Our Bags over on Nikki's channel, so make sure you subscribe to Nikki and go and watch that video. Nikki had literally the biggest bag. I, I mean, surprise, surprise, had a tiny bag, which is nothing like me. But you had a lot of stuff in yeah. there. Like, you fit a lot of junk into your you bag. You were like Mary Poppins. I felt like Mary Poppins. I did. So, what is your first product, my dear? Okay, I'm going to start with the newest kind of addition to my holy grip, because I'm obsessed. This is a brand new addition, and I literally, I think I've just fallen in love. This, actually, a friend of mine, Rachel, she put this on her Instagram, and she had put it on there a few times, so I went to check it out, and it's so good. I can't can't even explain. It is the Bado, Sh Bado Body Shop Mango mm. Body Butter. This so looks so good. different because the one, um, I think we have the body butter. This is the same thing but it's bigger. I don't know if it's the same one. They sold like an extra, I think maybe it's because yeah. I feel like that's a very American thing to do to sell like extra extra, extra large extra of something. So they were selling this at the store and um, I don't know, I'm obsessed with it. The consistency, it so oh, it smells, that's the first thing. The smell is incredible and the consistency is so moisturizing. Really thick, but like it's different than other lotions that I own. So I'm obsessed to say the least. So that's my first thing. I used to hate mango because I was sick once when I was a kid and I ate mango. <gasps> do you hate it now? No, no, I love it. Oh. I love it. Oh good, I'm yeah. glad my I body ate fresh butter's mango not. like two years ago and I was like, oh, I love them again. Oh. Um, my first one, UK only, a Barry M Jelly Nail Shine, and this is in Papaya. I am actually wearing it, but That's it's a really pretty very color. chipped at the moment. Um, it's got glitter over the top, which is also Barry M. Um, these are probably one of my favorite nail polishes in terms of drugstore. Um, you cannot get Barry M over here, can you? No, we cannot. The colors are so cute. Like, every time I go in, I feel like they have a new color. They always have, like, pastel -y. You guys know how much I love sparkles. <laughs> and, like, the whole range is, like, sparkly. Um, the Jelly Shine ones are basically a bit thicker. Um, so it's not like having gel on your nails, but it is definitely thicker. Um, and that is, like, I've had this on for almost a week, and I know it's chipped, like, quite a bit. But, but still, yeah, it, it will last, like, like, a good four or five days for okay. me. Okay, so my next thing is this Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. Um, this has also become a favorite of mine because not only does it just blend in really well for me, I feel like the color matches really great. Now, granted, their powder foundation does not sit or match as well on me, and I've been using it on top of this. It's not quite the same. Have you tried but... the powder? the one that you put that has a net in yes, the top. Yes, I just why got I have that. the thing. Do you yeah, like yeah. it? I do like it, but I got one slightly darker. Yeah, see, that's I've my got problem. I put it on today, but my... then I put the matte one over after. Yours doesn't look darker, though, when on your I face. When I put it on, it was, like, a tiny bit too dark, but uh, I quite liked it. Yeah, mine's a little darker, too, but this one matches really, really well. It wears really well. I feel like maybe it's just a head thing, but knowing that it's got, like, maracuja oil in it, it's a natural line. Um, I'm just really, really loving it, and this is my, I want to say my second bottle of this so I I love it my next one okay let's go for another now this is a bit of a I don't know if you have this I know you have some soap and glory products but I don't think you have this one because your skincare range isn't as big in the US no. this is the ultimate um, hot cloth cleanser the packaging has changed they used to have like really nice packaging in terms of like not tin but it was really nice and then now uh. I just think it looks like like a toothpaste thing oh I um, still think it's cute but it's basically a cleanser and a face mask. So I put this on when I've got my makeup on, leave it on for five minutes, it, smell it, it's so good. Oh, I favorite. think this is probably my favorite Soap and Glory oh. product out of everything. That smells That's amazing. Yeah, it's really good. I don't know what it reminds me of. It's like, kind of, not eucalyptus, but, oh, it's so good. It's so good. And you leave it on and then it like dissolves your makeup and then you get mm. a hot cloth and then you just pull it all off and your skin like tingles and it's so good and it's just amazing. And I get combination skin, so, I like sometimes break out and it's it's amazing. All right, so my next product, this is, I've had this forever and, or a couple of these forever, but it's recently become like, I love it. And this is the Jouer Lip Gloss in Sorbet. And what I like about this is I feel like it's 
the perfect natural kind of glossy lip especially if you have smoky eyes but I really like it because it's kind of peachy goldy and it's just a really pretty color and I haven't liked a lip gloss as much as I like this one in a while I've been wearing it all the time so definitely this I kind of want to put it on right now try it let's do it I have never tried one of those lip glosses before. I have three That's really of those. cute. You have three? I keep them everywhere. I feel really dumb. Same, right same, same color. Home, car. Oh my god. It's really good, huh? Next up. Oh, oh, Bioderma. Um, this is my mini Bioderma. You can't get this, I don't think. You can order it, can't you? But you can't just buy it. I don't think you it. can get that out here, can you? Um, I first found this. I was a fleur, actually, when we were in um, France. And I don't know why I'm trying to take the top off. It's a cleansing water. Um, doesn't really smell of anything. I love it so much. It's so, so good. Everybody talks about this, but it's so good. And it like, have you ever tried it before? I've tried it. I didn't, did you like I it? I didn't love it, but I think that's just because I'm not in love with um, makeup removers. I like just cleansing my face twice. I just think I'm quite lazy sometimes with taking my makeup off and I like love getting like cleansing waters and just being like, uh huh, uh huh, and it just wipes right off. The only thing off. it doesn't take off for me is like waterproof. I have to mm. use like an oil or something on my eyes to take it off. But and again, because I have sensitive skin or like combination skin, I hate like really greasy cleansers that are like, ooh. Yeah. So, yeah, I love them so much. It's so nice. Love it. And travel size, perfect. Bioderma. All right, my next thing. I've been using this color for maybe six, seven years, like way before I got on YouTube. And this is a e.l.f. mineral eyeshadow in Celebrity. So this is, a, it's just a really pretty like taupey, silvery color. And I don't know what it is, but I just, it's easy. It's a mineral eyeshadow. I take like my little poofy uh. blending brush, just kind of go <sighs> mascara. And it looks like I put a little work in, even though I didn't do anything. And I'm just obsessed with it. I used to use e.l.f. so many years ago, and then I stopped, and then literally the past two months, I used their um, eye primer. I'm gonna get that all over me. It's glittery, it's so nice. It's pretty, huh? Um, yeah, I used their primer, which is really good, and their eye primer as well. Really? Mm. I would have never thought that I, really, I used to really like it. I know good. it's like super cheap. I think I just crushed something on your floor. That's fine, you can crush our stuff. I'm sure it's just fine. My next product you have on your face right now. That stuff is good, I Collection, just used it. Big Fake Ultimate False Lash Effect Mascara. That was a mouthful and a half. Uh -huh. um, and as modeled by Licking. It's so good, isn't it? It's Literally, when so you were putting good. it on as well, I was like, this is amazing. It's like, lengthens your lashes. Because uh -huh. I find it really difficult. My lashes, like, I don't find that a lot of mascaras make them longer. Yeah, this brush really, is yeah. incredible, it's too. It's so fat, this brush. That's probably one of the fattest brushes. I love it. Woo! Whoa! It's really good. So you kind of don't like you have fake lashes on. Yeah, I had never heard of this like brand. You know, it's really good. Collection, um, I rave all the time too much about their concealer because it's so good. Um, but they do really good stuff. And that is one of them. Like that mascara. Okay, I have another Tarte product. This is my third bottle of this I stuff. I that. The Tarte Maracuja Oil. I just, I don't know what it is. I feel like when I put it on at night, I genuinely wake up and I'm like, I skin is brighter like seriously every morning that I wake up I feel like my skin is brighter than when I went to sleep when I'm using this stuff so I love it so so much like I said third bottle I've purchased of this last product is my Nioxin Dia Boost um, about three four months ago no maybe a bit longer I really wanted to like properly try and grow my hair a bit and I know that it doesn't look really really longer but I had like, it just wasn't growing in any fewer hairs, like a bit, ooh. Yeah. And I used this with a protein spray and literally it was so good. You basically put it on your roots and then mash up, sarge it in and it like tingles and it's like tingly, minty kind oh. of. Yeah, they designed it like I think originally and it, or they sometimes use it for like people that have either had cancer or like hair loss because it like stimulates the root mm -hmm. so your hair like grows and it's not just like fast growth but it's like thicker so when I put it in and blow dry it I'm like oh that's nice so you're really noticing a difference yeah I noticed it's like thickness straight away the wow. growth I didn't like notice until like two months but it's really really top good top 10 I am literally sweltering I, had I to know. turn the aircon off because it was like mm. she's, she's ready gonna, to hit on I know Fleur's like about ready to die she just wants some food make sure you watch our what's in our bag video over on Nikki's channel if you're not subscribed for her. Love this girl. You know, you're Thank having a day you. when you just want to be like happy. Yeah. You're one of those people that I always see you be like, doo -doo -doo -doo, you're so Thank happy. Thank you, Becky. That means a lot. No, so, amazing. And um, yeah, have a look at all the junk in my bag. A little bit in yours. A little bit. A lot of junk in my bag. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye, guys.
to it.